Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for December 28th till January 3rd. Guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. Also, if you'd like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com. Okay. So as you guys know, I've changed the way I've done this. So, and also if you found this useful, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. So let's jump right in. So what's going on with my Aries romantic love life for December 28th to January 3rd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Also remember these are general messages. They're not gonna resonate with everyone. So please check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotion, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch. So what's going on with my Aries romance and love life for December 28th to January 3rd? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Aries romance and love life for December 28th? January 3rd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so this is going to be for December 28th, December 29th, December 30th, December 31st, January 1st, January 2nd, January 3rd. So guys, as you guys can see, it's very clear of what's gonna happen with your day to day. So feel free to come back and check it out and let me know how it played out for your individual situations in the comments below. All right, so this is what's influencing this. And this is going to be for your love interest. Now, this is how your love interest feels. It doesn't have to be a person that you're with you. It doesn't have to be a person that you're with. It could just be the person you turn on this video for. This is going to be your advice. And this is the outcome. And of course, we're gonna layer more cards on top of this. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. So we see on the 28th, it looks like there is some sense of uh, um, a romantic connection here. That's what I feel like on this day. Uh, definitely feels like there's two people coming together. There is a sense of being loyal, loyal to the heart here. Um, definitely some, some wise decision making. Um, I do see that there is some opportunities for you here because I see two keys in this card. Um, I do feel like there is a sense of love. Um, so it looks like there's some choices being made with the heart. Um, and if we look at the, the numbers of this card's eight, I want to put the work or effort into this. Let's keep going here. Okay, we have the High Priestess card. There could be something secret about this, okay, with the High Priestess card. There could be somebody who's trying to gain knowledge about if they should be loyal to their heart here with the High Priestess card, or there's a sense that, you know what, there's something spiritual here, a spiritual connection, you know, or I want to use my intuition. Uh, I feel like there's some higher uh, power here around this connection. I feel like even this card itself feels very magical to me. We see that actually there is a dog in this card. Interesting enough, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's very close right there, you see that? Looks like a dog there. And for me, dogs represent loyalty and friendliness. So we're talking about loyalty here. So there's a sense of loyalty, being loyal to the heart, using your intuition. Okay, let's keep going. Fishes, yeah, there's a lot of emotions at play here with the fish cart energy. So on this day, it seems like it's a it's a very emotional day. It's a sense of, you know, I want to be loyal to my heart. I want to put the work or effort into this. There's a lot of analyzing going on, a sense that there's some spiritual connection here with this situation, all right? So let's keep going here. All right, so on the 29th, it looks like you guys are at a bit of a crossroads here. You're like, all right, do I go this way? Do I go that way? Um, I feel like you're not exactly where you want to make a decision because I see that this this deer or this this moose or whatever this animal is here um, It's like tied to the post So I feel like a lot of you are just kind of like standing there like all right What way do I go here? You know, I don't know which way to go here and You're kind of throwing your hands up like all right. I don't know which way to go here in this situation Because you're like I have this opportunity of true love here ace of cups energy, right? True love opportunity of love here 
And yep, for some of you, definitely something new here with the child card energy. So I feel like the day before what happened was, there was this opportunity that came up and you're like, whoa, this is really hitting me in the heart. I feel like there's some, some deeper connection here. There's a lot of emotions at play and it feels like for some of you, there's definitely a realization on the 29th, like, whoa, okay. I have this situation where, do I go this way? Do I go that way? I really feel like there's an opportunity to love here and there's something new here. And it's interesting because this child here, well, the child in the card is like putting its hands near its heart here. And if you guys can see, like right there. So, okay, let's go. So there's a lot of emotions at play and some sense of something new, something fresh, maybe even for some of you, a restart, okay? So let's see, on the 30th, oh wow, you're asking yourselves why, why? Yeah, I have a sense of, okay, why does this, you know, and we have the book card energy. Why is this going on? What's happening with this? You know, why, 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 why? You're asking yourself, why, why, why? And four represents stability and stableness. And let's see what this uh, number here is. Four again, you had four the day before as well and a four there. So four for you is like something to do with structuring, organizing things, uh, wanting a sense of organization for some of you. Okay. All right, we got the emperor card energy. What did I say? A sense of organization, structure. For some of you, this may be taking place at work here. This emperor card energy does speak of work. It represents control. Maybe you have a sense that you're lacking control or maybe you want more control around this and it's like, why, 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 why? Okay, and again, for me, it feels like there is some type of opportunity for you because even in this card, I feel like this looks like a key to me. And I feel like there's a sense of balance or some kind of connection that's coming together here for you. Yeah, moon, there's a romance here. Okay, and five, there's some changes around this. So we see that there's a lot of emotions at play for some of you. There's something new going on here or there's a restart happening in a, in a romance, okay? Wow, so far so good. Okay, so this is the 30th. Let's see what's going on with the 31st. Okay, so again, a sense of structure, wanting to build a foundation, like laying down the foundation here, okay. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles is like, all right, let's just take it slow and really analyze this, you know, before we keep moving forward here. I feel like this is going into a very serious direction with the Knight of Pentacles energy, but it, it needs to be done in a very organized and structured way. Wow, there's the heart card energy. It's confirming that there is love there with the heart card energy. So we see that there's a lot of thinking, contemplating about stability and stableness and the sense of change because of love, because of healing, because of recovery here. And such a beautiful card, actually. If you look at that card, it's so beautiful. Two people coming together there. See that? Yes, it's happening slowly, right? There's a sense that it's going kind of slow here on this day because they're like, all right, you know, we need to make sure everything is like in the right place and the foundation's in place here and it's structured and organized in a certain way. So let's just kind of take our time here. Okay, on the first, wow, things are coming out. Truths are being told here, right? Feelings are being revealed with this card. Yeah, justice, there's a decision being made here, a sense of justice because of house and family and stability and stableness. Hmm. So the sense of truth is coming out. The feelings are, are, are coming out here. You know, there's a sense of revealing some things around the situation, some truths about it. And there's a sense of justice around it. A truth is coming out. It's like, all right, there's a decision and it's about house and family and stability and stableness, right? Again, we got another four energy. You guys have a lot of fours, okay. All right, so as I said, for some of you, it's like a reset. And then we see on the, the second, there seems to be some healing or mending happening for you. Hmm. Because something that is some toxic energy over there with the devil card energy, or there is a sense of bondage, addiction, depression, and procrastination happening here. Okay, so some, some issues happen, and it looks like on this day, it's gonna be a focus on healing and recovery here. And um, because there was something toxic that happened there with the devil card energy. And um, there's a sense of something is secret there with the bull card energy. Okay, so there's some challenges on that day. So be careful about that day, okay? All right, so let's see what's the last day here. Okay, so it's like almost like, I feel like this card, you guys, on this day are kind of like going with the flow here. 
You're going with the flow. Um, and also for me, it's like the six of swords energy is like, all right, I'm moving past the challenges now because remember the day before you were dealing with some issues with having to heal and mend, right? And now this day you're kind of like, all right, yes, I'm moving past these challenges. I'm seeing some common waters, but there seems to be this regret happening here with the five of cups energy because of a person here, because a person card is coming out. There is the sense of regret. Okay, so let's go through this. All right, so there's emotions, a lot of emotions at play. For some of you, there could be something brand new here or is a restart happening when it comes to this romance because there's love. There's this house and family, stability and stableness and this knowledge uh, or some sense of something secret or you're gaining knowledge because of this person, okay. And obviously you guys have, to have a lot of four energy which represents stability and stables and sense of structure and organization. So what's influencing this? Mm. TikTok. All right, so timing is a factor here. And the sense of, you know, there's a lot of um, passion and chemistry here. And I feel like I'm, I'm taking a leadership role and I'm going towards what I feel passionate about because that's definitely what King Energy is. It's like a wise decision, a wise choice. Timing is a factor. It's the right timing here. And we got the dog card energy. What did we see? We see, I saw, I saw a dog bear on the, on the 28th. Dogs can represent, the symbol of the dog can represent a friendship, right? Maybe somebody who is a friend uh, or there's a sense of loyalty or friendliness there. So it's like, all right, there's a uh, good timing here. I'm going to take a leadership role on this because I feel a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, and I want loyalty and friendliness. And I see there, even in this particular dog card, I see that there, this bowl here that's in front of this dog for me looks like a little ring. Okay, so that's interesting. <laughs> and nine energy says wishes being fulfilled because of wise decisions because of timing. Okay, so now let's see. Let's see how your love interest feels about you. Okay, so your love interest, whoever it may be, doesn't have to be somebody you're with, it looks like there is a sense of, all right, I want to bring balance into the situation. I'm stuck between two different worlds here. I feel defensive. I don't want to get hurt. But I find you so attractive with the bouquet card energy. You, you really surprised me. Yeah. They, like, they want things to be brought into balance. They, must, like, they feel like you're leaving them like stuck between two, two different worlds. They feel this defensive energy. Oh my God, I better keep my wall up here. I don't want to get hurt. But I feel like you're so attractive with the bouquet card energy. So what is your advice? Your advice is to work together. We have the co-creation card. To fulfill your wishes, nine of cups energy. To go with your wishes, star card energy. Straightforward, right? Straightforward advice. All right, so. Outcome. It looks like there's a message coming in that's going to make you very happy. Yep, sun card. Happy again. <laughs> and it's because of a wise decision when it comes to long-term commitments. King of Pentacles energy. Wow, very straightforward. I don't even. I don't even feel like. I feel like this is very straightforward. And it's like work together, co-create. Co-create can also say start a family, right? We see there's some. Uh, let's, let's get things organized and structured in a certain way. Fulfill your wishes, nine of cups, energy, go towards what your wishes and your hopes are. Very straightforward reading, Aries. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys had a great holiday. And um, guys, I'll be seeing you another day or two. I've gotten a little behind because of the holiday, but I'm going to catch back up again. Don't worry about it. Uh, and I should have everything back in line uh, very, very soon. And guys, um, have a great rest of your week. Thank you to all my members and I will see you soon.